Hey guys, welcome to my channel, I'm April Honey. Today, I wanna show you guys how to go from this blank empty canvas right here to a beautiful complimentary custom design that you can use on your island. So the idea that I have in mind is to basically make like a little ground sprinkle. I decided I wanted to do a strawberry island someday, so I'm gonna do some strawberries because I've never done strawberries before and I wanna try it. And I figured the best way to try something for the first time is to take you guys through the process with me. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to pick my colors, my color palette. That is going to set the base of what I'm doing. So the color palette picker is the top right um, little icon it looks like a marker right next to the color palette the top row is the hue slider that slider is going to tell you what color you're choosing it's the actual color now they range from warm to cool so there you have everything from warm to cool and everything in between the red on the left side is going to be a little bit warmer than the red on the right side which is going to be very cool now for my strawberries, I want them to be kind of on the cooler side. I want them to have like little pink undertones, like violet undertones, not the salmony pink, but the violet pink, like the vibrant pink. And so that's why I'm gonna go to the right side of that color slider right there and choose that color for my strawberries. Now for the vividness, this is how much pigment is going into your color. You can make it very light and be just a light, beautiful pink, or you can make it very dark and very strong. And that's what I'm doing. I'm going with the very edge of the vividness. I'm all the way up to 13. That is number 13. There's 15 options and that one is number 13. And then I just slide the vibe, the brightness over and I wanna give myself four options. So I want four options for brightness because I wanna have a shadow, a strong shadow, two mid-tones and a highlight for the main color and red is the main color in this code. So for that color, that vibrant red, I wanna have four tones. That's just my personal choice. The next thing I'm going to do is add in some colors for some flowers. I really think that some white flowers are gonna be very complimentary in this custom code. I think it'll look very beautiful. So I'm going to go ahead and plug in some colors for white flowers. Now, if you noticed, they're not actually white. They're going to have a little bit of like a beigey color so that they show up on the ground and they look like they're in sunshine and they look a little realistic. So I use the fourth hue over, which is like a yellowy orange. I turn the vividness almost down all the way um, between two and four is where I like to keep it. And then I just change out the shading and I did like one, three and five from the right. And that makes a nice base for like a color, like a fully uh, colored white flower. Not fully colored, but you know, it adds me a middle and a highlight and a shadow. And in order to have a highlight on a white flower, it actually can't be white. That's just a true story. The next color I'm going to choose is my green and green is going to be the complementary color to the red. They're on opposite ends of the color wheel, so we're gonna make them complementary. They look good together. So we definitely need to have some foliage in here. I like choosing the first and second green next to the yellow. And the reason for that is because one, they're very spring green-like and they remind me of the grass outdoors, the more natural grass that you would see. They're a little more like the spring uh, outdoor grass and I really just love that color in the spring, the way the grass looks. It's just very beautiful, uh, very vibrant. It just gives a certain feeling, right? Um, it's very fresh. And then I'm going to add some brown colors and they are any brown colors. I don't know what I'm gonna use them for yet, but brown's a nice neutral color and maybe I might need something that's brown in there. And if that's not the case, if I don't use them, then they can just be thrown into the abyss and I don't ever have to look at them again, basically. So we're just gonna throw in some browns in some varying shades, maybe for some centers of flowers, maybe, maybe strawberry seeds, who knows? We're just gonna put some in there and see what I do with them. And if I don't do anything with them, then they're just extra and they can kind of go away. I just like to fill out the whole palette. Sometimes it changes. 
And always know that your color palette, it can change. You can make adjustments as you're drawing things. If it doesn't look right to you, then you can always make adjustments. And I'll go into color theory a little bit more in a future video, but I also did go into how to make a color palette specifically in this video that I'll put up in the card or down below in the description. You can probably find it in both places at this point. So now we're gonna start drawing. It's the good stuff, you guys. I'm breaking everything down into shapes. I know you don't want to hear that, right? But we're we're dealing with 32 by 32 pixels and we don't have a lot of detail that we can work with. So I'm breaking everything down into shapes. And honestly, the strawberry to me, the silhouette of the strawberry is a little bit like a a triangle like a spearhead almost so that's kind of what I'm gonna make it out to be it's gonna be like a triangle um sitting at the edge of a rectangle so there you go and <laughs> those are my thoughts when I'm going on and I'm just going to flat color everything right now and I will go through and I'll do shading and add depth and dimension later I did start playing around with the shading a little bit right here, which you can totally do, but I think it was more to get a feel for like, is this, am I going in the right direction or am I not going in the right direction? I'm going to speed this up a little bit while I talk you through it so you can see what we're dealing with here. I am going to spend a little bit more time explaining than usual because I think this is going to help you get an idea for all of the other custom codes that you make. The information I'm going to give you in this video can help you going forward in any kind of code that you make in the future. I decided the street seeds of the strawberry didn't need to be such a vibrant yellow. It was a little bit clashy with the red. And so we turned them into more of like a, a tannish kind of color that might change later, but it's kind of a placeholder for right now while I think about what I'm doing. And now I'm just going to make some foliage coming out of it. And at this point, I don't want you to worry about how this looks. Make some basic um, shapes. I want you to think about making just uh, triangular shapes stick out and maybe making them curve just a little bit, some curvy triangles. And I want you to have those come out. Now, if you ever need to move your project the way I did, there is a move tool and it is on the bottom right, the second one up, and you can move your project. So I'm going to add in the rest of the strawberries just to know where they're going to be placed. Again, it's going to be like a triangle with a curved bottom, a little bit of a bowed bottom. So it's like a triangle and a circle sitting on top of each other. And then the bo bottom one is going to be facing straight down. So it's going to be a little bit more of a spearhead kind of shape. And um, I, I just like the way that looks. I, I think it looks cute like that. It's more of a baby strawberry, you know? And then of course we're putting the little hats on them, the little strawberry hats, you know, the, um, the foliage hats that the strawberries wear. Of course they're gonna be wearing those in this code because I think it's cute. And the way to do that is to just drag a line over. Look over at your color palette and see what you're doing and see if it makes sense to you. I go, I take away and I add as I go along, I'm, as I'm just playing and I want you to just kind of get comfortable playing with the shapes. It doesn't have to be perfect right now. This is a hot mess and there is an ugly phase that every single drawing, every pixel art, every path, everything I make goes through an ugly phase. Just know that they're, they're not all beautiful to start with but we trust the process and we move forward. So I'm going to add the flowers to the center of this um, little patch right here. I just think they'll be cute. And I'm gonna add some fun little sprinkle flowers around as well. And just those are gonna be a little bit cute and just add a little context and they're gonna look good on the floor. And then we're gonna add another bigger flower right over here. And I'm using the rule of three, and I don't know if you noticed that, but things when you do in threes, they look good. And then when you complement them with pairs, that looks really good. And then I had the other three, and I'm doing everything using a spiral, which is another trick that you, you that we learned in art theory. And who would have thunk that I would have brought that to Animal Crossing? But I didn't do it intentionally. It just happened to follow me here. 
That was not something I intended. And see, I used the darker brown. Those browns came in handy. I used the darker brown to make a seed in the shadow, which came up as a darker brown. And now I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna highlight and shade this entire picture. I'm gonna re-sculpt some of the foliage so that it looks a little more, uh, like it makes a little bit more sense for where it's located. And then I'm going to shade it. And we're gonna think about where the sun is right now. And this is where we're gonna define the leafage. And it doesn't all have to be very clearly defined because you remember this is pixel art. And sometimes less detail is better, less is a little bit more. Um, sometimes if you do a little bit too much, it looks like oatmeal or it just, it just looks really discombobulated. And then we're gonna go through and we're gonna add our highlights to the edges of the foliage and we're gonna show the the areas that are popping up into the sunlight and we're gonna show that in our highlights the same with the flowers we're gonna go through and we're gonna add a little bit of highlights to them give them their own definition and let it show where they're popping up into the sunlight I'm gonna add a few more sprinkles around because I think that would be cute and I'm using this brown and I think it came out really cute so I'm going to show you how it looks right now. And there we have it. I love the way this came out. I think it's just a beautiful little detail and hopefully I get a chance to use it in a strawberry island in the future. And I hope that you guys got to learn something and learn a little bit about why I make the choices I make when I make custom designs and a little bit of the secrets of how to make custom designs. I want to see everybody master their own craft and you should be able to learn anything you want. The key word I'm going to say is practice, practice, practice. Um, it's really just taken a lot of practice to be able to get things that I'm enjoying. And remember, above all, this is a video game, so this is just for fun. And if you made it all the way to the end of this video, then I'm going to let you in on a little secret. Down in the description, there's going to be a link to a Google download where I'm going to share with you a photo of all of my pixels along with the color palette that I chose and um, the creator code for this particular custom design. And hopefully you guys enjoy it. As the outro, I'm gonna be showing you right now how to make it into a little bit of a textile if you want to use it on a pillow. It's a bit much as it stands right now um, to use in a repeating pattern. But if you want to use it as a pillow, it can be very cute. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now as we say goodbye. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you so, so very much. I know you can be anywhere in the entire world and you chose to hang out with me. And I appreciate you so much for that. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.